Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I have a surprise delivery, a preview copy of Lock and Load Tactical Solo by Lock and Load Publishing. This is the uh, solo AI for the Lock and Load series, the uh, one-size-fits-all um, uh, licensed from, the, from uh, Academy Games for their excellent Conflict of Heroes uh, Solo AI, expansion for Conflict of Heroes, uh, the Eastern Front uh, game. And while that was tied to um, specific scenarios that were included in the uh, solo expansion, this is adaptable to the base game scenarios for the all the Lock and Load series, be it Modern, be it World War II, uh, be it Vietnam, Everything. Uh, I was talking to uh, David Heath at Lock and Load. Uh, there are obviously going to be some with hidden units, things like that, that won't work quite as well. Um, but for the most part, you can probably play, you know, um, my guess, 80 to 90% of the scenarios that are included. And you can play both sides. So it's not like you just have to play the Defender with the AI and uh, like uh, some other uh, AIs do. So. Anyway, um, he sent me a shrink-wrapped copy. So this is uh, what the final box is going to look like. Um, the only difference between this and uh, the retail version, from my understanding, is that the, the actual cards, they're tarot-sized cards, um, that the actual cards in my copy are not real cards. They're... Uh, uh, more square cut. They're not the final, the final card. So this is a preview. Everything else should be, <clears throat> from what I understand, same as the retail that will be coming out soon. So I am going to dig into this. I didn't think I need my knife because it looks like in the shrink wrap there is a hole, which, in my experience, having worked at Blockbuster Video, uh, it's very easy to get those holes in the shrink wrap. You should to get that. You get that heat gun a little too close to the shrink wrap film, it'll pop pretty quick. But actually, this looks a lot better than anything I ever shrink wrapped at Blockbuster. It used to be, you know, you went into Blockbuster and the, uh, the uh, cases were on the, the boxes were on the shelf and they were shrink wrapped and then the Blockbuster cases were behind, so we had to shrink wrap those. But that's a little additional trivia that is not necessary. So, lock and load tactical solo. Wow, this is going to be awesome. I'm sure if it's anything as good as the Academy, the Academy version. So let's see what you're going to get when this finally comes out. Oh, nice sturdy box. And we do have the cards. And again, <clears throat> like I said, these are, these are real well done. These are not like what I would print at home on cardstock. They're just not, you know, corner rounded, etc. They are good and oversized, which is nice because it'll let you, uh, I mean, obviously these are a little flimsier than a, than a regular playing card would be, but that's okay. That's okay. I've got sleeves. I ordered special sleeves for these. So I don't normally sleeve cards anymore, but, uh, but I'm going to sleeve these just to make sure they play well. So these are your order cards. I believe there's 55. Box is 55, David told me 57, not sure. Um, well, two of them are key. So it must be 55 order cards and two cheat sheets. So look at this. You got your order. You got dice up in the corner. So this maybe help with die rolls or something. Got a priority section. A lot, of, a lot similar to the Conflict of Heroes system. Um, Priority one, fire, dynamic move, fire, move towards, execute counteractions, uh, secondary orders down here. Obviously the lock and load series doesn't have the same concept of a spent unit based on action points. So that'll be obviously handled differently. But these are the cards, nice and big, easy to read. You're gonna be using them a lot with all the different games in the Lock and Load series, of which I have plenty. And uh, 
look forward to look forward to playing this even more now. Very nicely laid out. I mean, obviously there's some print overlap issues here. Uh, I don't know if that's going to change for the final final layout or not. Anyway, so there you go. You get some cards and keys. What else you get here in the box? You get a solo manual. Small manual. Full of ads. Uh, looks like 12 pages of actual rules in order to use the solo AI, plus two pages of contents. The good, uh, the same excellent quality that Lock and Load's been doing lately. Uh, nice glossy. This doesn't quite seem as glossy, slick and smooth. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Special Appreciation Academy Gains and Gunter Eichert and Uwe Eichert. Excellent. And thank you to all these testers. You guys are awesome. So, let's see. So you got the rule reference, what to expect from the AEO. What is the AEO? That's what the cards are called. Uh, does it give me a definition of AEO? <laughs> Artificial Enemy Opponent, the AEO cards. That's what those are. And I'm just babbling here now because I'm just so excited to have this and be able to share this with you. So, create the orders deck. The orders deck must be created to play the game. Orders deck of the AEO is constructed to match the AEO's posture for the scenario. So, obviously, which side you pick, they're going to have a posture, and that's going to dictate use the defensive cards, uh, offensive cards, reshuffle cards. Obviously, it tells you everything you're going to need in these sections. Player and enemy player. Player units, AEO. Cool. It's going to be a new term, new buzzword, LNL AEO. Kind of how to use the orders. Uh, there are flow charts. Uh, he was mentioning this to me. If you have a fire order, you go by the fire flow chart. Uh, and I think they're, they're uh, conveniently done as well. Cool. Not all action markers are invested. So it's using everything that's actually already you already have in the game. So, ooh, and that's interesting because there is a battle generator for Heroes of Normandy and Heroes of the Pacific, which means we'll probably be able to use and generate battles again and then play them with the AEO. All right, a order example eight point one. The adjacent to a PU, a player unit. Yes. Is the AEO shaken? Yes. Can the dynamic move? The AEO, yes, no. It's just standard flowchart. Working your way through to figure out what the AEO is going to do. And then we've got a solo movement stances table. So these are that nice card stock that they're doing. Large print, easy to read. We have solo events table. Uh... Apparently we have random events that occur during the solo game. Those generated on the cards here. I don't know, because I'm just seeing this for the first time. But obviously there's gonna be solo events that happen, which is awesome because it totally mixes it up and then you can replay the same, same scenario over and over again. Solo events table there, weather possibilities. Cool, weather effects. And our flow charts. Oh, the flow charts are actually big. Big size here. Solo victory conditions behavior flow chart. For helicopters. Nice big flow chart to look at. Execute victory conditions. Is this the same thing? Defensive posture. And obviously gonna have to read rules for this. So you get this chart. Several flow charts in here. Nice large size flow charts. Put them all out. So we've got the counteractions. So if you get instructed to use counteractions, we go to the counteractions flow chart. Ayo. So the movement behavior flow chart. So if the move action is defensive, you'll use this side. If the move action is offensive, you'll do this side. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But you don't offend with your move. All right, fire action, combined fire action flow chart. It's so ordered. Oh, the do nothing flow chart. 
this is perfect for a lazy weekend. All right. Finally, the solo fire behavior flow chart, defensive, close assault defensive, and opportunity fire for offensive, close assault offensive. Two different flow charts. Awesome. So, might be some benefit in shrinking these down just to be ready references. I do not know until I use them. But, according to the box, you will get the AEO cards, 55 of those, five 11 by 17 flow charts, a full color manual, and two eight and a half by 11 player aids. So we have seen everything that's gonna come in the retail box. The only difference is that the cards will be more card light. So one, two, three, four, five flow charts. Reference card, reference card, rule book, and the AO cards for your automated enemy opponent. That is what you're going to get when Lock and Load Tactical Solo Expansion is released. Thanks for watching.